upset that you already bought an HTC One and there may be a Google edition around the bend. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how you can make your HTC One a Google edition. When HTC announced there would be a developer edition HTC One that comes unlocked with an unlocked bootloader and compatible with AT&T LTE, many were surprised at HTC's newfound dedication to developers. Then Samsung one-upped HTC by teaming up with Google, who will release a Google Edition Galaxy S4, a Nexus-style S4, on June 26th. Reports have since alleged HTC would also get in on the Google Edition love with the HTC One. But the news is somewhat bittersweet to existing HTC One owners, especially those with a developer edition. Fortunately, getting the same effect is quite simple if you currently own an HTC One. There's a quick and easy way to effectively turn your One into a Google Edition. Of course, there are some prerequisites you will need to take care of first. You will need to unlock the bootloader on your One, which can be done at htcdev.com. Before you do that, however, you will want to make sure you back up your pictures and any other data that you do not want to lose. Unlocking the bootloader will wipe all data from the phone. From your computer, navigate to htcdev.com. Click the Unlock Bootloader button, click Get Started, select your device, and click Begin Unlock Bootloader. Follow the official instructions from HTC and your bootloader should be unlocked within minutes. You will have to first set up ADB on your computer for this to work, so if you haven't done that, now is a great time to do so. Then you will need to flash a custom recovery to your One. You can find a link to Clockwork Mod for the One in the description below. Download the custom recovery to your computer and open a terminal window. Change the directory to the location you have saved the recovery image. Disable fast boot in the power options on the One and boot it into H boot mode. This is done by powering down and powering back on while holding the volume down button. Select fast boot and plug the One into the computer. From terminal, type fast boot flash recovery and the name of the recovery image. This should only take a few seconds and when it completes, boot the phone into recovery by rebooting the phone into H boot again and selecting recovery. Linked in the description below is the latest CyanogenMod 10.1 Nightly for the HTC One and the latest version of GApps. Download both of these files, and make sure you download the correct version for your phone. There is a separate build for the Unlocked One, the AT&T version, and Sprint model. Once those files finish downloading, perform a data wipe, factory reset on the phone, and wipe the cache partition. You can either move the files over to the phone, which should still be in recovery mode, or simply flash them using the sideload feature. To move the files to the phone, type ADB push, the name of the file, forward slash SD card, forward slash, for both files and terminal. Once the files are on the phone, select install zip from SD card, confirm, and flash. To sideload, select install zip from sideload in clockwork mod, and from terminal type ADB sideload and the name of the file. Do this for both CyanogenMod and GApps. When you reboot your phone, you will be running a mostly stock version of Android 4.2.2 with slight modifications. For the most part, this is how the Google Edition HTC One will look, run, and feel. You just have to keep in mind that this build is not a stable build. It's an alpha nightly, not a release candidate or a stable build. So some things may not function properly. The good thing, as indicated by the name, is that developers are working on these builds around the clock and fixes are being pushed nightly, or very close to nightly. There are also other stock Android builds for the HTC One, such as Team Carbon, Revolt, PacRom, and more. That's all for now. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to click the like button and subscribe, and follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook, at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'll see you next time.